Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you my process for removing self-adhesive stamps from paper. Uh, technically, we're actually going to transfer the stamps to archival paper. We'll talk more about that in a moment. All right. Uh, I'm going to start the stamp soaking and then describe everything you need to soak stamps. So let me put the stamps in here. Uh, notice when I put the stamps in, uh, they're all face up and I've rotated each stamp with respect to the next by 90 degrees. There are a couple reasons for that. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, the solvent that I'm using is heptane, also known as rubber cement thinner. Okay, but the, the chemical name is, is heptane. And uh, the reason I put the stamps face up uh, is because the cancels can sometimes bleed. Okay, so the dye that's used to cancel stamps sometimes can bleed uh, in the heptane. And if the stamps are facing each other, then that dye would transfer from one stamp to the other. And that would make a mess of the stamp. We don't want that. So uh, having the stamp stacked face up uh, prevents the, the dye bleed from damaging the stamp. You know, if, if the dye bleeds, then it'll bleed into the paper of the stamp above uh, rather than into the stamp itself. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I rotate the stamps 90 degrees with respect to each other so it's easier to get them out. Okay, that's all. Okay. All right, so we're using uh, heptane. I've tried many substances. This is the best. It works on all the different types of adhesives, and I'll, I'll explain uh, that later. Um, the vessel that I'm using, the jar, the container, uh, whatever this is, uh, has some specific properties as well. This is a uh, ceramic, glazed ceramic. Um, you could use glass as well, okay, but don't use anything else. Okay, You want something very non-reactive with the heptane. Okay, It's small. Uh, it's large enough to hold a couple stamps side by side, but it's small enough to prevent uh, a, a lot of heptane from evaporating. Okay, so if, if you have a large surface area, the heptane is going to evaporate very quickly. Uh, heptane is expensive, a dollar per ounce. Uh, so uh, you want to keep as much of it in liquid form as possible. Okay, hence the small jar. Uh, also the lid. Okay, so the lid keeps... Uh, a lot of the heptane from evaporating. Okay, so, so the lid helps, uh, it doesn't really prevent the evaporation, but it, it limits the evaporation. Okay, so the heptane stays in liquid form longer. All right, uh, I've got a little glass bead. Uh, the glass bead is just for holding the stamps down in the heptane if necessary. What else do I have? Tongs, of course. Uh, I have this cloth. This is 100% cotton. Russian flower sack cloth. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be Russian, but the, I think the Russians make the very best flower sack cloth. Um, but it's 100% flower sack cloth, 100% cotton flower sack cloth that's been washed at least 100 times. So very lint-free, very soft. I'll get back to this in a moment. Okay. Uh, I also have some paper. This is just regular paper. Okay. You can use recycled paper if you want, but don't use paper that has inkjet printing on it. Uh, inkjet bleeds. Okay, so uh, the ink from an inkjet printer will bleed in the heptane. So use, uh, if you're going to use recycled paper, just use laser jet printed paper. Okay, laser jet printed paper is fine. This piece of paper, however, is 100% acid free archival paper. Okay, yes, it's pricey, but it's worth it, okay? Now, the issue is that um, envelope paper is cheap and it has a high acid content, okay? Over time, that will discolor the stamp and damage the stamp, and you've probably seen this. So, you know, if you get a stamp from the 1930s or 40s that's on very cheap paper, um, the stamp itself has toned uh, it's, you know, it's turned brown because of the paper, okay? So the goal here is to get rid of this paper. 
we're going to transfer the stamp from this acidic paper to acid-free paper. Stamp collecting is an act of preservation. So our goal here is to preserve these stamps as best we can. Okay. Now you might ask, why not just remove the adhesive altogether? You can, and I'll show you that later, but it's an expensive process. Okay. Uh, so uh, as best I can tell, the archival papers, uh, well, sorry, I should say, as best I can tell, the adhesive itself is not going to discolor the stamp. Now, some of you may remember the uh, P stamp from 1974, I think, uh, the very first self-adhesive stamp. Uh, those stamps have turned brown over time from the adhesive, okay? Uh, but modern adhesives are very different. Uh, and best I can tell, the modern adhesives are not going to cause the stamps to discolor. Moreover, the stamps themselves aren't actually paper, okay? <laughs> they're, they're, I can't tell exactly what they are, but the, I think they are more like parchment paper, so a, a paper that's impregnated with silicone, or they may even be plastic, I'm not sure, but they're not like regular paper, okay? Uh, I have stamps, self-adhesive stamps, that I put on archival paper 20 years ago. They're fine, okay? So I don't think there's any... Uh, there are any long-term negative consequences to this process, okay? If you're worried about that, you can remove all the adhesive. I'll show you that later, but it's expensive. Uh, more importantly, you might as well do this because you can always undo this, right? So if a decade or two from now, uh, we discover that these adhesives are in fact um, discoloring the stamps, you can remove all these stamps from the archival paper by using this very same process. Okay, so uh, the, you can pull these stamps off and remove all the adhesive using the same process. Okay, so, you know, this is a, a short-term solution, which potentially could be the long-term solution. Uh, but overall, I think it's the best solution that uh, preserves the stamp uh, without costing you a lot of time and effort and money. Okay. All right, getting back to the stamps, uh, I like to leave them in for about five minutes. I've gone as short as a minute, um, and I've gone as long as 20 minutes. Uh, I, I find five minutes is about optimal. That's It's enough time for the heptane to soak completely into the paper uh, and uh, act on the gum, uh, and it makes it easy for, for the stamp to pull off. Some stamps do require longer. I'll explain in just a moment. All right, so uh, after about five minutes, grab a stamp. Um, notice that I'm, I'm shaking off the excess heptane, right? We want as much heptane in here as possible for as long as possible so we can soak as many stamps as possible for the least expense, right? And then what you do is you uh, peel the paper away from the stamp. So I start in the corner and I peel the paper away from the stamp. Do not peel the stamp off the paper. You're actually peeling the paper off the stamp. You want to keep the stamp as straight, flat as possible. Okay. And notice, so I'm, I'm using all of my fingers here to support the stamp as I peel the paper away from the stamp. Okay. I'll use my thumb too to, to support the stamp. Okay. And we very slowly and carefully pull the paper off the stamp. There we go. Notice that's all nice and curly. Off it goes. Uh, and then I'm going to place the stamp on my archival paper. Here's where the cloth comes in. I'll use the cloth to gently press the stamp onto the paper. Okay. Now, a lot of the stamps will curl a little bit. So this allows you to flatten the stamp as you press it onto the paper. Okay. Um, I, I advise blotting. Okay. If you... If you sweep across the stamp, if you push across the stamp, uh, you might scratch the stamp. Highly unlikely if you're using really nice lint-free cloth, but uh, blotting is the best way to go. This will also soak up some excess heptane, which will uh, prevent any residue, okay? Heptane can leave a little residue, um, especially after a while, and some, some of the adhesive kind of mixes in with the heptane, you might get a little heptane adhesive residue uh, on the stamp on the surface. If you do, it's easy to clean. You just get the cloth wet with heptane and very gently wipe the surface. And I mean very gently, right? Uh, 
it doesn't take much. You very gently sweep over the surface uh, with uh, the cloth damped and uh, wet with heptane, and that'll get rid of any residue. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, the evaporation here. Uh, the heptane evaporates very quickly, so you do have to work quickly. Uh, the heptane is a uh, neurotoxin. Okay, so make sure you have proper ventilation. Open a window, make sure there's a cross breeze uh, ac across your workspace. You know, make sure there's a air flowing across your workspace. Get that, get those vapors out of your, uh, out of your way. Okay, you do not want to breathe these vapors for long periods of time. Okay, all right, safety first. Okay, oh, I also forgot to mention the gloves, nitrile gloves, latex will dissolve in the heptane. Vinyl dissolves in the heptane. These are nitrile gloves. These are the only gloves that will not be affected by the heptane. And actually, they will, um, I found over time, they will actually um, kind of spread out a little bit. They'll, they'll get a, they'll, they'll react a little bit to the heptane. Uh, heptane will soak into your skin. This is not good. Okay, so make sure you have uh, nitrile gloves. You work with the nitrile gloves. All right, again, uh, I'm going to grab a stamp, you know, shake off that excess heptane, and then I'm going to pull the paper away from the stamp. Now, if it's giving you some trouble, if there's a lot of resistance, if you can't get a good hold on that stamp, you know, just put it back in the heptane and wait another five minutes. It's okay. okay. As I said, with some stamps, I've, I've gone as long as 20 minutes. Um, uh, what I found is there are five different types of adhesives, okay? Uh, the Postal Service um, has contracts with many companies. Uh, last I knew it was five different companies that make stamps, which might explain why we, there are five different types of adhesives. Um, the first type, the one that I like the most, uh, it, it stays on the stamp. Okay, so the, the adhesive stays on the stamp, and this is an example. Uh, the adhesive stays on the stamp, and it has a little bit of a cloudy appearance to it. So it's very uniform and a little bit cloudy, very kind of like very fine little little pellets of adhesive, if you will. Like, yeah, it's a very fine grain, very fine grain adhesive. And those stamps are the easiest to work with. Okay. They come off the paper very cleanly. You know, they set on the archival paper very cleanly. It's nice, nice to work with those stamps. And I found that nearly all of the the modern stamps you know, after 2010 have have that adhesive. Okay. Uh, the other type of adhesive, um, it's it's clear and likes to um, form blobs. Okay, so when you pull it off, uh, when you pull off the paper, about half of the adhesive will stick to the paper and half the adhesive will stick to the stamp. Um, and you'll see it's, it's kind of like a marshland, right? So you'll have all of these islands of adhesive, these patches of adhesive on the back of the stamp. And you could do one of two things in that case. You can just stick it on the paper, you know, Stick, a, stick the stamp on the archival paper. It'll stick, it'll hold. Or you can remove all of the adhesive from the back of the stamp. Okay, the choice is yours. Now the third type of adhesive, which is the type on this stamp right here. I chose the stamp because I happen to know it has this type of adhesive. The third type of adhesive sticks to the paper and very little stays on the stamp. Okay, these are nice as well because um, you'll have a, a, an adhesive-free stamp, mostly. You'll have a mostly adhesive-free stamp when you're done. What I don't like, however, uh, is that you have to clean it. <laughs> so um, there's not enough adhesive to put it on the archival paper and have it stick, uh, but there is still a little bit of residue, okay? And you'll have to get that residue off. So these you, you have to clean. So I'm not gonna stick this onto the archival paper. I'm gonna set it upside down, off to the side. Uh, and I'll show you in a moment how to uh, clean a stamp like that. Okay. And 
the two other types, um, there's an adhesive that's very smooth. It sticks to the stamp. It's very smooth, incredibly sticky. Uh, and that one's very hard. Uh, it's very hard to separate the stamp from the paper when, when that adhesive is in use. Uh, those, those stamps I typically soak for 20 minutes. Uh, and you have to be very, very careful when you're peeling the stamp. Okay. Uh, and those stamps are particularly prone to being distressed by this process. Okay. I, as I said, the, the the paper, the stamps aren't really paper anymore. Okay. They're they're like they're some special type of paper. Uh, and if you stress the paper, it's permanently deformed. Okay. So it's possible to distress the stamp. So if you pull too hard, you know, you pull too quickly or pull too hard or bend that stamp too much you will permanently deform the stamp and that's it, it's a dead stamp. It's not worth collecting. Okay, so you have to be careful about that. Uh, the fifth type of adhesive permanently bonds the stamp to the paper, right? You, you just can't get the stamp off. Um, fortunately, it's there aren't many stamps that have that adhesive. Uh, they're typically the definitives from the late 1990s, um, but you're, you just have to collect the stamp on its original you know, acidic, envelope paper um, because you're just not going to get that stamp off okay um, right. so those are the five different types of uh, adhesive um, occasionally you may get a little uh, envelope paper that gets stuck to the stamp okay that happened here and what I'm going to do is I'll show you how I get rid of that little bit of extra envelope paper. Okay, I'm going to, this is plain old paper now, set the archival paper aside, uh, and I'll show you the process for kind of cleaning up the back of a stamp. Right. So with the, there's just a, a little bit of envelope paper left here, and then I'm going to use my tongs, and I'm just going to scrape that off. The stamp has to be very, very wet with heptane. Okay. And I'm just going to scrape off that little extra bit of envelope paper. Done. Okay. Um, yes, there's the risk of damaging or distressing the paper. What else are you going to do? Okay. <laughs> but, you know, you go in at a very shallow angle. And the key is you're, you want to roll that adhesive on itself. Okay. The adhesive is very good at sticking to itself. So you want to roll the adhesive. Uh, and it will take the paper with it. Uh, now, there's a little bit of adhesive along the edge here on this particular stamp, uh, so I'll show you how we remove that. Soak the stamp, you know, get that adhesive wet, 10, 20 seconds, you're just getting the adhesive wet with heptane. Pull this off, lay it on the paper face down. Now I'm going to use the cloth. I'm going to start in the center of the stamp and wipe outward. Start in the center of the stamp, wipe outward. Start in the center, wipe outward. And I usually do this four times out to the corner. Right, so four times each uh, out to each of the corners. Okay. Now, you will you may notice, it may not be, show up in the video, but there are these little balls of adhesive here, or little strands of adhesive, okay? Because um, the adhesive will stick to itself and roll off the paper. And yeah, you can use pressure on this, you know, as long as the stamp's face down. Um, you have to be careful not to damage the perfs, but that's why I start in the center and go outward, okay? Uh, and, but you can apply some pressure. It's, it's, it's not that delicate a process, okay? And you usually have to repeat this process uh, a few times, okay? Now, this piece of cloth has adhesive on it, so I have to use another piece of cloth, right? So I have to use another part of the cloth if, to repeat this process. Oh, so again, uh, let's get the uh, stamp wet for about 10 seconds. Okay. And I make sure it's really wet. I don't really shake off a lot of the heptane. And again, go to the center, draw out, draw out to the corner out to the corner and notice I'm, I'm using a different piece of the cloth every time and out to the corner and you have to do all that before the heptane evaporates, okay? But hey, if the heptane evaporates, just you know, put it back in. All right, 
Now I'm going to do a little visual inspection. It helps to have a bright LED light here. So I'm going to do a little visual inspection. I can see a little more adhesive up there at the edge. I'll move to a new piece of paper because there's a whole bunch of adhesive here. Start with a new part of the cloth. Oh, let's get the stamp wet. Wet the stamp for about 10 seconds. And wipe it down once more. So as you can see, this is a very expensive process, right? You're going to use a lot of heptane, and it just takes a lot of time, OK? How do you know you're done? Uh, does it stick? No, OK. <laughs> you're done, right? Now, uh, once I finished a batch, uh, this paper has a bunch of adhesive on it. It's gone. Get rid of it. Done. Uh, once I have a batch of stamps, I'll usually fill a whole sheet here. Uh, and even these clean ones, I'll, I'll put on the paper. Uh, I press it. Okay, so I'll put on a blank sheet of paper on top, iron it out, put some heavy weight on it, and just leave it like that for a day or a week. Okay, <laughs> and you can leave it. You can leave uh, these stamps under weight for one or two weeks, and you'll be rewarded with clean, flat stamps. Okay, it's a great process, and uh, I do hope that you'll try it and you'll have great success with it. But I will note that you should really only use this process on the collectible stamps, OK? It's an expensive process. It's a time-consuming process. So you want to make sure that the stamp you have is worth collecting, OK? Uh, only the highest quality stamps should undergo this process, OK? And I'll have another video about what constitutes a high-quality stamp. Okay. But uh, once you've inspected the stamp, you say, hey, this is a stamp I want to collect. This is a stamp worth collecting. Um, then you trim it, you know, trim off the excess paper because you know, the heptane is going to soak into the paper. The more paper uh, that's not attached to the stamp, well, it's just a waste of heptane. Right? So that, that paper will soak up heptane and it's a loss. Okay. But so you'll trim the stamp, well, it's trim the paper around the stamp and leave yourself a border. Uh, Border's kind of thin there, but you leave yourself a border so that you can grab that paper and peel the paper away from the stamp. Okay. All right. So uh, I have other videos on soaking pat, uh, soaking stamps off of paper, right? Uh, regular stamps. So soaking regular paper stamps off of paper, uh, and I have a video on the uh, how to how to tell if you've got a high quality stamp, uh, and perhaps I'll have more videos after that. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope to see you in another video.